All right, today what we're going to do is we're going to update our Unraid server from version 6.1 something to 6.2 something. So to do that, it's actually pretty easy. Um, you go over here to Tools, and you come down here where it says Update OS. You click on that, and right now you notice it says 6.115, and it says Not Available uh, for the status, and it's stable. So we know that there's a 6.2 out there already, so what we're going to do is press check for updates. And then once we check for updates, we hit done. And we notice 6.12.6 6 is out there. So all we got to do is hit update. And then once this is done, um, the system will be uh, updated. But what we can do is go ahead and hit close. And we notice the operation continues in the background. Now we can hit this time bomb if we want to abort the process. We don't want to do that. We just want to keep it on running in the background. All right, so once we're done, it's going <clears> to <throat> change the status to reboot. So we'll just go ahead and we can reboot that. Uh, <clears throat> I usually just go to the dashboard and I just use the link up here to reboot now. And then uh, we just wait for it to restart. All right, so now that we're logged back in, we just have to come back down here and restart our array. And then once that's restarted, then we'll go over to the um, plugins. And then we're going to set there and just check for updates in all our plugins and see if um, <clears throat> we have new plugins. And we do. So we can sit there and update all these plugins. Just make sure our system is up to date. And we'll just go ahead and knock these out like really quick. And then once everything's done, what I like to do is I like to come over here back to our tools section. And I like to do the update OS. And it gives us the option to restore to 6.11.5 um, if we're not happy with 6.12.6. .6. Now, I always do a check for updates again just to make sure that we are, in fact, on the latest version. And then we look at this and it says up to date. I can hit this mark here, the view release notes. And then it gives us the um, release notes on what we can do with this. So you can read those at your leisure. But the thing I really like is going back to our dashboard, like over here, um, we have this lock button up here now. So now I can unlock this and I can move this over here to this side if I want it on this side and I can lock it so I can really customize the way that I look at my dashboard. And I really do like that um, feature in here. So, um, what I would like, you know, you guys comment on how you have your dashboard set up, and I'd like to sit there and look and see what some of the best practices are out there.